What's up guys and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. They're here at the old trout stream to do another really awesome little bait review. And for today's video, we have got the Gulp Alive one inch minnow. And in my opinion, this is the absolute king of small minnow baits. If you go to your local store and you go to the trout fishing section, you'll see every company has got a small minnow-like bait that they uh, use to uh, try to represent small bait fish in creeks. Now, as you can see here, guys, this is just a small jar of gulp alive minnows in a one inch size that are just soaked in that gulp alive juice, marinated and cured in there. And we're gonna be fishing these around today, guys, and just seeing how many fish we can catch. I would imagine that these are gonna absolutely slay in the creek today. But what we wanna do, guys, is we're gonna rig this up on a little 1 64th ounce trout magnet jig head hook, just like that, in bright silver to match that minnow. And uh, we've got a float up there. Now, I would like to mention, guys, that if you wanna see the gulp alive minnow in the larger packaged, uh, soft plastic packaged version, just simply head on there into the description, click that link and check it out and once you're done with this video. I'm going ahead and pop into this jar here. And just like all gold products, they do have a seal. This seal's already open. I actually checked these out once before. Didn't use them, but just gave them a quick look. We'll just simply pull one out there. Turn our cap back on tightly. If you guys know anything about gold products, they will leak. So you've got to turn them on there very tightly. Now all we want to do for rigging is simply take our one 64th ounce trout magnet jig hook and we're going to take this guy dark side up running from the nose down through the body and right out through the midsection there and just butt it up against our little weighted head there just like that a nice inline presentation very straight got those tails pointing in that direction we want to make sure our knot is oriented in a 90 degree angle from our hook shank here to give it a perfect presentation just like this as it heads down the creek so i can already see a few fish in here guys so let's go on ahead and get in here and let's get started just bomb us one out there to the other side not that little gulp alive minnow just kind of there we go we're just gonna let it head right on down that rock wall over there a little bit of an undercut bank and this little beauty was laying over there waiting heck yeah guys super angry little fish here super angry beautiful fish though nonetheless fighting hard down there don't want to put her in the net quite yet if she's going to be acting that kind of crazy don't want to damage this fish at all we'll just let her fight it out for a second all right looks like she's coming down just a little bit there and there we go guys very first fish on that gulp alive one inch minnow it did not take long Looks like she did kick our minnow during the fight. That does happen with the gulp products. They are pretty soft, but they absolutely slay fish. And there we go, guys. There's fish number one on the gulp alive minnow this morning. That is on the drifting pattern, just casting it out into the current, letting it drift on along. That little beauty there came over and absolutely crushed it. I should have mentioned earlier, guys, these are the emerald shiner color. They make these in several different colors. As you can see there, these are the emerald shiner. They work really good. The smelt colors also work really well, but most of them are gray and white. So it's a really common color, but it's really up to you on which color you like. I like pretty much all of them. So I just seen this one, didn't even look at the top, didn't even really matter, but this particular jar is Emerald Shiner. All right, let's try that cast again because we popped it there, we threw it out, gave it about three or four seconds, gave it that first pop and something come up and bit it. Did not hold on to it. We'll give it about three seconds, four seconds. We'll give it a pop. Same thing, give it three or four seconds. Let those rings get away from your float and uh just kind of let the bait fall back down give it that dead look a couple pops let those rings from where you just pulled your float disappear again a couple more pops and then you just repeat we're going to try that i don't know four or five more times here definitely had ourselves a bite now whenever you're casting in the current like we've got here in front of us guys you really don't have to impart any action onto your minnow to simply cast it out let the current take it because the current has abnormalities as it riffles along the rocks and down a particular chute and this really includes pretty much every body of water that's got running water that you're fishing these gulp alive minnows in and you can just cast out your float and just let it drift on by really doing very little to it and it gets a really nice action naturally by itself kind of like a falling minnow or dying minnow that's just kind of tumbling down the water current there they absolutely love it you don't really have to do much whenever you're in heavy current like this Pop us one right into that main current seam right there. Haven't really got to the outside of it yet, on the far side. 
we're just going to send one right down that main stuff right there there we go got him on just drifting in that main current seam there and this little beauty came over and absolutely crushed it. here she comes right to her feet heck yeah guys heck yeah now you can jig these and i will show you how to do that later on in this video but my favorite way obviously is just under that indicator and it works just well as you can see here not a very large fish but a gorgeous fish nonetheless oh there goes our minnow maybe we can save that just seen him kick it out of the net looks like he's still hooked though yep he still got the hook oh he actually popped the hook too looks like he's lassoed himself with the string here there we go got that one off nice and easy another gorgeous fish on that old minnow let's just walk out here a little bit deeper we'll let this little beauty just take off right on out of our net no need to hold her there she goes right there take off little girl there she goes heck yeah guys and once again just simply drifting it there was no popping actions added to the bait here because once again we was fishing in this heavy current right as i got into that main current seam there as you can see it comes off these rocks trickles through and gets kind of heavy but as you can see there guys it just worked its way right on down and got right down there to where that really heavy current begins to slow down where it's not as hard for the fish to be pushing against the current but just enough to push that bait to fish so that they can just sit there open their mouths and grab what's presented to them naturally and that little beauty seen that gulp alive minnow and she absolutely crushed it so we'll go ahead and reach in our jar here guys we'll grab us out another one we'll get re-rigged back up and we'll get back in here heck yeah just want to drop that little beauty right on into that main current seam again there trying to be wary of my shadow and how far out into this pool it goes although this is a deep pool they will see my shadow be casted over the pool and they'll all just kind of move away from it it's just a natural instinct for them because as they are growing up large in the hatcheries the predatory birds will fly over and as you know a predatory bird will cast a shadow onto the water oftentimes moving very quickly and that will absolutely cause the fish in a hole just to scatter and freak out a little bit so it's really not what you want so you want to try to keep your shadow away from the water as far as you can this time of year in the location that we're fishing it's really difficult to do that guys so just keep in mind that if you can get to a location where you're facing the sun it is better a lot better um, so you're not showing your shadow to the fish but also keep in mind guys that we are filming today and anytime you face these gopros directly into the sun you get a little bit of a sun flare or like a really bright ball of light in the corner of the screen that can be extremely annoying so we try to put our backs to the sun for your guys's enjoyment but just keep in mind that if you can face that sun get your shadow behind you show these fish as little as possible and it will increase your odds of a hookup there we go oh we got her on heck yeah casted that old gulp alive minnow right in front of this little beauty and she absolutely crushed it wow heck yeah oh that fish is angry heck yeah guys that is just too much fun too much fun See if we can slide her right on into the net. Nice and easy there. There we go. Probably the best fish so far on the Gulp Alive Minnow. This little beauty came over and absolutely thumped it too, guys. I mean, she crushed it. An absolutely gorgeous little fish there. Let's just let her take off right here. There she goes. Right on back into the creek. Happy and healthy. Heck yeah, guys. Well, this was actually the only fish I've seen in the creek. And I can actually see my tiny little Gulp Alive Minnow right down there in the bottom. But it's the only fish I've seen in this section, this entire section. Fish for it for a minute, put it right in front of her, and she absolutely crushed it. So we'll continue heading upstream here, see if we can find us another one, and we'll see what happens. Heck yeah, guys. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm noticing, and it's super weird. But this particular jar of baits is just extremely soft. And I can tell you that that's actually not normal, because I've fished these before. And uh, I've bought several different packages, and they're just not that soft. But this particular pack is very gummy very soft and they're just ripping really easily but it doesn't seem to deter the fish at all so that's okay we'll just continue to re-rig after every fish and uh, just continue to fish along now once again guys i don't think these baits are always like that as a matter of fact i know they're not but in this particular jar they are and i've also had pinch crawlers and other gulp alive products that come out like that but we'll just continue to fish you can see there by the tail definitely a little bit of a defected pack there but they're still working so let's just get in here guys see if we can get us another one 
check it out guys this right here is what used to be a bush completely chewed down by beavers last time i was here this was an entire tree and the tree is actually right there guys these beavers are trying to dam up this hole there we go we got another one heck yeah guys heck yeah cast it out in front of this one did jig it past it a little bit and she absolutely smoked it gosh this fish is freaking furious too absolutely crushed it. i thought there was only one fish in here guys and uh worked my way upstream came back down actually seen a second one cast it over there too it took a couple casts jigged it right past her and she absolutely smoked it and we got her in the net heck yeah guys i mean just another stud rainbow an absolute stud of a fish oh looks like we popped our line right there that's never good but at least we got her in the net before that happened there we go got that old hook out just pop that in our pocket there we go all right guys let's let this little beauty just swim off right here there she goes heck yeah broke off her hook we'll grab it out and we'll get retied back on heck yeah guys that was pretty awesome all right guys just like i said i would we took off the old float going to try a little bit of jigging if we can get us a jigging fish well then we'll call this video a success here he comes we got him oh he popped off right there guys on the old jigging technique he came over and crushed it the second his head came out of the water that old gulp alive minnow came out but that's okay that was just too much fun right there to see that fish come over and crush it like that as i was jigging it back and then right as he went to make that big jump he was jumping right at us a little old trout magnet let go but that's totally okay that was absolutely awesome well guys that's pretty much going to do it for today's little Gulp alive, one inch minnow challenge. We ended up catching four fish, lost that one really nice one right there in front of us on the little jigging technique and had a ton of fun catching some of these big rainbows on it. And I highly recommend you go out and grab some of these and keep these in your arsenal because they really do work excellently for trout. And also guys, if you're gonna be doing any ice fishing, pan fishing or perch fishing, these again are a must have. They absolutely slay fish, especially your small pan fish and perch. Even big walleye, I've seen big citation walleyes caught on these same little minnows under the ice. But get out if you can guys and do some fishing and have some fun. But most importantly, be safe and tight lines.